You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. Exciting day because I got a very special box from Spin Master. You can see how big it is now with my hand in there. And I do want to say thanks to them for sending this to me to check out on video. Before I open it though, I want to read you a little information here. It says, welcome to the Baku Master Club, LPS. Me is in a special club. Welcome brawlers and congratulations on becoming a member of the Bakugan Masters Club. This exclusive group has less than 30 members and grants you access to the latest and greatest from Bakugan Battle Planet. As a member throughout the year you'll receive the newest toys before they hit shelves. Very cool. Swag packs not available in stores and exclusive perks. And it says in April we'll be shipping a pair of limited edition custom Bakugan Vans. Ooh, nice. And then it says also we will have free access to any of the amazing cons and expos. That is really cool. Now you've seen the box. Let me open it up. I had to get that card out of there so I know most of what's in here, but I don't know what's in that backpack. All right. So there are a couple. Well, there's one small set here. This is the Bakugan Mantanoid or Mantanoid. Mantanoid. I'm not going to try to pronounce these. Well, I'll pronounce them, but I know you will correct me on them. I've made mistakes in the past. I have tried. I try my best. And then pop open Baku Action. How do you roll? Bakugan.com. All right, that is a small pack. And another small pack. I'm going to open these for you today because I am excited to check them out. And then there is the Bakugan Ultra. Okay, that's what that looks like. And then this is the starter pack, which has three of them in there. Plus, Baku Cores. Pyrus Gortheon. All right. I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, so that is what's in this pack. Now there is a special, what looks to be like a poster in here. All right, very cool. So it represents all the different color groups, right? And then I will leave those for pronunciations up to you. It's a neat looking poster. I will add that to my collection of other Bakugan items. Now I just found, interestingly enough, my Bakugan bin, and you haven't seen probably 50% of that bin, and it is packed with stuff. So maybe I'll add that later. All right, so here we go. I'm assuming there's, oh, there is something in here. So some nice stickers. Pretty neat, and then all the colors now, here you go. They represent the different groups, right? I'm sure there's a brawler group that you're familiar with that you enjoy. Okay, there we go. And then here, as you can see, it does have a nice, actually looks, feels like it's silk screened on there. Battle Planet, pretty neat. Let's see what's inside. All right, so we have a trusty snapback hat. That is some cool swag. A nice water bottle, screw on top in red with the logo on it. I like that a lot. I have what looks to be a headband or sweatband of sorts. Okay, and last but not least, yes, that's it, is the t-shirt. Pretty cool. And the size is medium. Okay, that should fit, no problem. Silk screen down there, pretty neat. Nothing on the back. Okay, so let's go over everything. So we got that. We got these neat stickers. So I'll set those right here in the middle. And then the larger starter pack. We'll hide it over the hat there. And then the two smaller sets, which I want to open. So I'm going to come back now and move this all out of the way, and we'll check them out. All right, here are the three packs. Now I have opened them up just so that they're ready to go because I want to open up all three for you so you can learn about them as I learn about them. And then I did find my bonus item that I just got just days ago at a thrift store. So here we go. So we have that. We have this guy. Oh, he looks pretty cool. Oh, he's in there pretty good. I might have to close him up a little. Ooh. I thought these would be easier to get out, but they're Embedded in the plastic, open. Okay, be careful. Okay, I'm gonna have to work on that a little bit. Here's my card. 
And then there's a little sheet here. Let's see what that's all about. Okay, very cool. It's a little mini poster. Let me turn this down a little. So it looks like here's this round here. There's one, two, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, twenty, something 20 some there. And then, oh, here, they give you instructions how to open and close this one. Okay, and then there's another sheet here. What is this? It looks like rules of the road here, but it's a game. Toy battling game rules. Game setup. Okay. The brawl, how to win. And then here it is in another language. So that's that. And then there's this little round disc. I don't know if it means anything, or it is for, wait, kind of like stuck down. Oh yeah, it's got one of those little sticky pieces of tape. Then here is my card for this one. Okay. What is it going to say? Very cool. Oh, there's two in there. We have Surge of Light and Crocellios Ultra. B400 action, okay. You all know more about that than I do. There are the fronts of those two. All right, I'm curious about this. Let me do this. I want to be careful here. I don't want to break this in any way. So let me get this one out, and then I will come back after I complete the mission, because I don't think it's going to be too easy. I might have to cut this. I'll be right back. All right, I have to say, he fought me pretty hard. I had to cut most of the packaging to even get him out. So that was pretty cool, actually. It took a little more time than normal. All right, so, ooh, he opens up this way, too. All right, so I'm just kind of looking at him now. He has this top piece that opens and closes. So it looks like they want you to bring this down for the close. Then fold these in. It looks like they go over that. Okay, and then push these up. Then lock in the front and the back. I'm close. I feel that it's right there. Oh, I think this needs to go in first. Let's start that again. Okay, ooh, these fold out pretty far. Actually, they fold out farther than I thought. So it looks like this locks into these, like that. Okay, all right, let's try this again. Here we go. Those in, this in. All right, this in, this in. And then this, this, and this. Okay, I did it. All right, let's just see if we... Ooh, we bounced out of that pretty quick. And right up into position. All right, I will play with these a little more because I brought in a... I'm bringing a special item that I just found at a thrift store. So I thought, hmm, I might need something like this. And guess what? This set came. Ooh, I didn't get these out. Boy, they got a lot of hidden little treats in here, huh? Okay, so these are a cardboard, but they have a little weight to them. They're heavier than the cards, probably at least twice as thick as the cards, okay? So that is pretty neat. That is set number one. Let's get into set number two. Hopefully it's easier to get into. I cut them, but I must not have... I didn't complete this one all the way. For whatever reason, I stopped. Did I show you the back of this one? I think I did earlier, but... All right, there you go. Not much more to learn there. We just want to get out and play with them. That's all. Play with them. Okay, so I'm going to set this one. So these have different numbers on them, too. Minus three. Okay, so it looks like these are repeats. Ooh, and they're not. Even though the... Oh, this has a fist. A fist. But different on the back okay I'm sure there's a reason for that oh, this one only had one card aha uh -huh. this guy looks like he's gonna be easy to get out but it looks really cool definitely okay I'm gonna leave a little disc in there a little probably like a display stand is what I would use that for I see and then these little cards here 
pop open and it, it lands on the little disc to open because they're magnetic. So there must be a little sheet of something, a little metal item in there. Okay, so this is what came in set number two. There was no booklet in that one either. Okay, so it's a little bit different between the two sets. I move this one over here, get this out of here, so we can just see the main pieces. Okay, now let's check out this last one. You go there, you go there. Oh wait, let me open and close this one. Was there any instructions on this one? Probably don't need it. It's a little easier to, to do. Let's just see. No, this must turn. I feel like it wants to come in a little bit more. It's not wanting to do it. Oh, uh, it's where this head goes. I think. Pretty cool eyes there. It's like... Okay, it's not this last little... Oh, that's why. This tucks in, and then it's... Then it's gonna work. Ooh, it didn't set it. There you go. All right, I gotta move on. So this set now has three. One is open, how cool is that one? I don't know, I'm just intrigued by these. I've always liked these, the fact that you have so many little maneuvering pieces that move around and... Okay, you're gonna hear some crackling because these are hard to get out also. They're so sunken into the plastic. I'm gonna have to really do damage to this one. But look what we get, we get some new little, ooh, look at the whole stack in this one. All right, so you're probably gonna wanna get a bunch of these so that you have plenty of gameplay tokens and pieces. And then look at this pack. Okay, so they have the two booklets, but it looks like you're getting more cards. One, two, three, four, five, six different cards. Okay, let's take a look at them. Super Shot, Dark Boost, Ice Sickle, Trox, Serpentez, or Tees, Gortheon Ultra. All right, they're gonna make this rather difficult to get these out. Oh, I just got to pop them real hard from the back. It's like, whoop. okay. Now let's see, does it show you how to open these three? Not that one. Is it this one? Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, should they show you just the one? Okay. All right, let's take a closer look at these. You know, I think what I'm going to do is just take a quick, ooh, that landed pretty good. It's kind of funny. It reminds me like a little dinosaur. Almost like a dinosaur pig. And then this guy. This should be pretty easy to close up. There we go. Nice. Alright, so there is everything in all the sets. So we have this set here. Okay, pretty cool. This set here with more of those, more cards, and three. And then the other set with that. So what I'm do, I'm gonna clean up. I gotta regroup here, come back, and I'm gonna show you what I picked up at the thrift store because it fits in perfect with this set. All right, thrift store. It was $2.99 or $3.99 or something like that. The official battle arena of the Bakugan Tournament League. And it was had all the pieces in there. Now there was no Bakugans in this original set. And by the way, I rarely ever bring in stuff like this when I'm showing new stuff, but I thought it was kind of neat that I just picked this up at the store. Now this uses the cards, and these use these little Baku cores. Now I was reading the game, Now I'll probably show this with my ultimate collection of stuff in a future video, but I thought it was just neat. I was lining them up so that I can understand each card has their own information, and you need to pick the cores that match on the card. So you have the shield, and I think that's what that one came with, and the fist. 
So these would be the ones you're going to lay down in the grid, I believe. They show the grid here. Let's just see. Here, we're learning. I'm learning. So that's that. And then, and he is Gorthion Ultra, Serpentes. And then he is the fist, oh no, like a little fireball. Let's see, where's your little fireball? And then a fist, okay? So that would go with that one. And then this one here is the little shield and this. Okay, you can go there. And this has the little shield and a fist. Okay, and then what's left? Let's see, it's got to be this one. This is a shield and a fist. Okay, so I think I've got them all sorted out. I guess you would just mix and match those up. So we have Trox, Mantinoid, uh, let's see, let's try to figure this one out. Crocilios Ultra, that's how I'm going to pronounce that one. Okay, so it says, not upside down, game setup. First, the six Baku cores that you play with must match Baku core symbols with those on your team's character cards. Dragonoid has a fist and a little fire fist is listed as his Baku core type. You must choose two Baku cores, or it's called flaming fist, that match his types when using him. You have the helix, the fist, the magic shield, the flaming fist, the shield, and on the back or the front they actually call that the modifier. And then you set this grid up. To set up the hide matrix, Baku core must touch one entire side to another Baku core when placed. Players will alternate placing Baku core in the center of the playing field face down. Flip a coin or Baku core to determine who goes first. The roll. Each player chooses an unopened Bakugan that will roll this turn. Players must roll their Bakugan towards the hide matrix at the same time, releasing at least two card lengths away from the nearest Baku core. If no Bakugan open, players roll again. The brawl. If only one Bakugan opens, that player turns over their character card and is declared the victor. If both players Bakugan open, they will each turn over their character cards. Players combine the B score from each character card with the B score from any Baku core that was picked up. Highest B wins the brawl. Okay, so this has a B score of 400. And then this, let's see what these have on this side, if they happen to be the ones. Ooh, we have a minus, we have a plus 100 and a minus 100. So you could probably, yeah, I do feel the something in there. Okay, both players will set their Bakugan back on their character cards. The victorious Bakugan remain open and the other must be closed. All Baku core picked up in the round will be returned to the hide matrix. All right, how to win. The first player to win three brawls, one with each of their Bakugan, wins the game. Okay, well, I'm not going to officially play the game, but I'm going to play with these a little bit. Well, I'll tell you what, let me just set these up. I think they all have, it's the set of man, it must touch one entire side to another. Must touch one. So I don't think you can keep going out like this. You have to keep building like this. Okay. At least that's what I'm thinking. See that? And it looks like this needs to go here. So I could not do this. It needs to touch. So anywhere where it touches the sides like this, one entire side. All right, let's roll some in. I won't be keeping score here, but I do want to try it. These are so neat the way they just stay just like that. Okay, let's just roll this one in and see. Ooh, all right. So he has a minus three on the fist and then his card has a B400, but that's not a B card, so that might mean something else. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Let's roll another one in. Let's roll this one in. Take a look at that. I'll tell you what, maybe I'll put up a little slideshow for you of the different ones. Open and closed. Ah, that worked perfect. Plus one. Okay, let's try this one. Tracks. Are you ready, Tracks? Head in first. 
Ooh, wait. Where do your little feetsies go? Where do your little feetsies go? Hmm. Ah, they must go in first. Oh, wait. Got it now. So feet go in first. Then this. Then his head. No. Yeah, together. Okay, here we go. Come on, we want the perfect one here. Perfect throw. And shoo. Ooh. Maybe it's too fast. Oh, come on. He didn't open. Hmm. Wow, right over it, too. Mm, he's going to be hard. There we go. Ooh, right in front of you, too. Pretty neat. I have a video of Bakugan, and it's, it's every day it still gets comments. You don't know how to open them. You didn't open up every single one. I know, because it was like 50 in the video. It would have taken me an hour plus to open and show every feature. So I might have to remake that video. All right, so this guy, we did this guy, we did this guy, we did this, did we? This guy, now he's got the most parts. I gotta remember how to do this now. He's the most intricate one. Oh, you're supposed to go in. Come on, get in there. Oh, it keeps popping out. Oh, well, there you go. He takes the most to figure out. Almost looks like he's still a little open there. Here we go. Oh, cool. All right. Well, that is very cool, I think. And now we're part of this special group of 30. And what I'll do is I will do the videos quicker as soon as I get them. So I've had this for about a week now, so I haven't had too long. I get getting to it as soon as possible. But now I am part of this special group. Brawler Club, the Bakugan Masters Club. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put up some quick pictures then, open and close, and then you can get some nice close ups. Maybe I'll put on some nice brawler music. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. Stay with me here because there are going to be some little slideshow coming up. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later.
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.